city property to facilitate it. We pray, we sing gospel songs. So would that be eliminated? The Black History Program, it's done here at City Hall, right in the vestibule. Is this a prerequisite to say, no, we're not gonna have the Black History Program anymore? And then there's the National Day of Prayer that this administration or the mayor sponsors. I understand he pays for every ticket. Will that program be eliminated due to this, um, whatever the state or federal is gonna do? I think it's all premature. I think it's a setup to eliminate these three programs. And, and if that is indeed the case, I will be praying for this administration because we are in trouble. Thank you very much. Next speaker will be Casey Thompson, the second. Yes, hello, I am here to address chapter 72, regulating. State your name and address, oh, sir. I'm sorry, my name is Casey Thompson, the second. I live uh, 7109 Gary, Indiana, 46403. I'm an, an employee of Club Aquavore, and we feel as if this chapter 72 no parking regulation will affect our Friday and Saturday night events that we have. I understand the imposing of no parking in specific areas, but we feel as if it needs to be some kind of regulatory sanction in areas where people are actually employed and working. Uh, Aquaborn employees, many great people. Uh, we definitely need the money as he was, as uh, Councilman Markovich stated earlier, it is hard. We have uh, Mr. Howard, he works for us. He's a surviving cancer patient. And this is income for many of us. If this is imposed, nobody will be able to attend the club. Nobody will be able to come to any of our events, which will lead to the closing of the club due to no income or revenue coming inside of the club. So we would like to just have something done in order for us to be able to still have parking in front of our area. Thank you. Next speaker will be Alex Ortiz. <laughs> Alex Ortiz, I live at 48, uh, 44 Wegg Avenue in East Chicago, Indiana. I uh, was an East Chicago firefighter for many years, and before that I was a nurse and a soldier in the Army, and now I am a stand-up comedian. And uh, what I like to do is I've been fortunate enough to work with some really big names, and I bought... Latin King of Comedy, Joy Medina, here to East Chicago, to Hammond, Indiana. I like bringing comedy home to the people that I grew up with, the people that I love. I get to tell jokes all over the world, to soldiers all over the countries, and to me, it's important to have the people here get that kind of entertainment, and we do it at Club Aquavore. And this parking ban is actually gonna hurt us. We, we're, not, we're not able to, to bring the kind of talent that I wanna bring here, because at, after 11 o'clock, if you can't park in a parking lot, then, I mean, there's, there's really nowhere for them to go. They can't make any money after that show. We like to hang out afterwards. We like to have meet and greets so that they can meet these people. We've had uh, Joey Diaz from The Sopranos, uh, Dion Cole, who now has this show on TBS. These are all friends of mine who I get to work with all over the country, but I don't get to bring it home to the region, to the people that, that I love, my family, my friends, and I like to be able to bring comedy here to let them see what I do everywhere in the world, and I like to bring it home. It's important to me to bring that home because it's something, it's positive. We've never had a problem, they're, <laughs> they're awesome people. And they're usually my age, I'm, I'm 50 now, and I have people from 35 to 50 to come to our shows, we've never had a problem. And I can understand, um, you know, worrying about helping the police because as a firefighter, I have much love for policemen. But I think a parking ban in parking lots just doesn't make any sense. Especially since, I mean, you're, you're saying that you're going to stop the crimes from happening in a parking lot. Um, I, I don't see what that means. I think it, you know, you, you have cars parked in a parking lot, and that's what it's for. And you're going to take money out of Aquavore's pockets. You're going to take money out of every employee that works there. Plus, you're going to deny the people of, of the Northwest Indiana the chance to see some really talented people, some famous people come here and entertain them. And I think that the parking ban is just going to hurt more than it's going to help. Thank you. 
Our next speaker will be uh, Tom Jewell. Good evening. Uh, my name is Dr. Thomas Jewell. Um, I'm also a gay citizen of Hammond, and I've come before the council this evening to recommend that you review the possibility of two new ordinances. The first would include sexual orientation or identity to the city's non-discrimination clauses. And the second would be a, or an ordinance that would open up equal rights for employees of the city of Hammond who have marriage licenses or civil certificates from other states. You recognize licenses from all other states in the union. It should apply to all citizens the same way. First question I've been asked by several of the members of the council who I've talked to is, have I experienced discrimination? And I want you to know I have, but this isn't a personal issue. The second ordinance I suggested kind of demonstrates the point. If a citizen of Hammond who works for the city of Hammond is married from another state, they don't have the courage to come forward and you don't encourage them by not recognizing their right to a license. This is an issue of civil rights and non-discrimination. And this city should be in favor of everyone having the same rights. It's also an economic issue. Hammond needs, you guys have done a great job with trying to preserve our city. The mayor has done a good job. But you need to encourage everyone to move here, fill these empty homes, stop the tearing down by having people want to be here. Hammond is a small city at the foot of a great lake, and we should be a lighthouse of non-discrimination and an encouragement to all people. Fort Wayne, Indiana saw the economic advantages to encouraging equal rights. The Democratic mayor, a completely Republican area, and yet they encourage this kind of openness, encourage companies to come here who want the best employees. A city should want its best employees, and you can't do that if you don't encourage people to come here. We should be a lighthouse, and it's up to the council to take the initiative in this regard. So I hope someone on the council, after talking to many of you and writing all of you, will take the initiative to get two ordinances through the council to encourage gay people to take our homes. Cities in Illinois actively pursue gay people to move in. Irwin, Oak Park, their renaissance began with gays. Thank you. I hope you will take this change. Next speaker will be Mr. Enrique Bellarini. My name is Enrique Bellarini. I'm out of uh, Portage, 2043 Moss Street. Uh, I stand here opposed of Chapter 72, which is uh, no parking past 11. I'm part of uh, the management team of Aquavore Nightclub, and um, we operate only two days a week. We operate from 10 o'clock to 3 a.m. You can see how that directly interferes with our operation. That's our only source of revenue. So by taking that away from us, there is nowhere near us to park. And, and you, you can drive and, and try to find me a parking lot that's, that we can fit 200, 300 people. Um, to even stay afloat, we've got to do big numbers. We're only open two nights a week. Um, many people might say, well, open other hours. It's not that easy when you're doing comedy shows. How many comedy shows do you go to that start at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Um, you know, this is, this is entertainment for all of us to enjoy. So uh, by taking that away, you, you jeopardize the nightclub. You jeopardize the revenue that, that comes into that nightclub. Um, I don't want to just term it as a nightclub, that's just the name of it, because we've, we've opened up to comedy shows, we've opened up to um, different, different shows, uh, we did a lot, Live Out Loud um, uh, shows that, that basically 
uh, cater to every demographic, every group. Um, and, and we continue to strive for that. Um, however, we won't be able to by, by passing that. Um, and you can see half the attendance here are our employees. So those three rows right there are all of our employees who will be affected and will have no job because of this. So I can only ask that you please not allow that. Give us a parking lot somewhere to go so that we can still have jobs. I mean, you're looking at 15 people who are not going to have a job because of that. And that's only half the staff that's here that can make it. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker will be Mr. Michael Swigert. Evening, Council. My name is Mike Swiger. I live at 6730 here on Avenue. Um, I'm kind of going to address two separate things. It started out as one, which is uh, my support of uh, the ban on parking in city parks uh, and parking areas between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Uh, as the same as the gentleman behind me uh, from Aquavore, I'm also a United States soldier, five years active duty, uh, 12 months in the Guard now as a military police officer. Uh, during my active duty time, uh, minus a year overseas, I spent four years in garrison law enforcement and patrol. Uh, that combined with my five years in the Hammond Parks Department, I promise nothing good happens in a city park between 11 p.m. and 5 in the morning. Um, and I fully support uh, the ordinance to ban parking in municipal parking lots, all lots, because of that. Um, my, my second thing is aquavore. Um, I just want to point out that not one single person who has come here to speak up for aquavore is a Hammond resident. And that um, this particular business, um, I, I'm not saying the folks behind me, they're not good folks, but facts are facts. Uh, this business has had uh, more police calls for service than the number of days that they are open. So. I have no love lost if, if this detrimentally impacts um, business that has provably, demonstrably, detrimentally impacted uh, the city of Hammond. Um, but yes, I do think this is a good thing. There's already an ordinance that states that people are not allowed in the parks between those hours, and I believe that this is a logical extension of it. Uh, that's all I got. Thank you and good night. Next speaker, last speaker of the night will be Mr. George Stoya. That ends the speakers. Oh, Eva. Sir, I got here late. Can I address this Sure, sure, Counselor. I wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you guys before I become a civilian next week. And uh, let me tell you about the menaces and the interest in downtown Hammond. I've been there 35 years. On October the 9th of 2009, I confirmed with Chief Miller the existence of 12 child molesters and sex offenders in the LaSalle Hotel. I immediately called the Department of Corrections and threatened to sue them to the moon and the stars if they didn't get those people out of there in two days, and they were gone. Our problems have been the same throughout the year. Aquavore is two doors north. Uh, f from my business. Um, they have the problems that every bar does. Uh, they're not selling drugs from behind the bar like one we had recently. And with, they, they didn't have a murder that they covered up at a bar in Hessville. The problems down there are a lot broader in scope and you know what they are. And they've been there and as long as they will be there, people will not come to downtown Hammond. So address that, address the aqua war problem, but address the real one too. Now, as far as this prayer thing and this controversy about whether or not you should have prayer, I would encourage those who say you have to have prayer to concentrate more on the conduct directed by their Lord and Creator than praying to Him. For 40 years, we have had people and priests and bishops and church, the churches that have told you pray to end abortion. The result is 55 million murdered children 
that are laying at the bottom of landfills and incinerators across this country. And if we keep praying, there are going to be another 55 million and another 55 million. So forget the form and let's get to the substance, which is action. And that's what I encourage this council to do uh, and everyone else. And I, I'd just like to take one moment, uh, a little selfish one here. I've served the city since January 1, uh, not, yeah, January 1 of 1984. And I can tell you the single best highlight that was my boys and I shooting pool in Bob Golick's basement at Christmas many years ago. Because before that, we had the greatest shouting matches in history. He came into the law department. What are you going to do without that in your budget? Or that, or that. And I looked at Bob and I said, Bob, I think I'm going to cry. That's what I'm going to do. So we dispensed those things and got along. And we hope everybody else does in the future. Uh, I, I have one last thing. Um, there's one of the greatest books of all time that said only principles endures. Two of those principles in Hammond now that have endured for nine years are College Bound and Festival of the Lakes, and they're going to endure another 10 or 100 years if I have anything to do with it. Uh, in that regard, a great friend of Hammond, Bill Porter, recorded a song that I wrote called There's More at the Shore. There isn't a town in this state that has anything like this in his talent. And let me tell you about Bill. You know why he isn't a known, famous international star? Because he didn't care about that. He always concentrated on getting better first. So let me submit this, and we'd ask you guys to consider it. Let me close with something I have always believed in and tried to practice. Municipal legal service is a privilege. And it's not a privilege to bill, it's a privilege to serve. And you can cut out the legal, and for every employee and every councilman, live with this principle that endures. Municipal service is a privilege. God bless you all, and God be with you until we meet again. Thank you. That ends our public expression. We need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion by Councilman Spitelli, second by Councilman Cohen. Mr. President. In favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned.